Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about what is Azure SQL Managed Instance and what are the key features and capabilities and what are the service tiers available in Azure SQL Managed Instance. And we will talk about management operations, advanced security and compliance and security features. And we'll also discuss about key differences between SQL Server on-premises and SQL Managed Instance. And then I will show you how to deploy Azure SQL Managed Instance using Azure Portal. What is Azure SQL Managed Instance? Azure SQL Managed Instance is the intelligent, scalable cloud database service that combines the broadest SQL Server database engine compatibility with all the benefits of a fully managed and evergreen platform as a service. SQL Managed Instance has near 100% compatibility with the latest SQL Server database engine, providing a native virtual network implementation that addresses common security concerns and a business model favorable for existing SQL Server customers. SQL Managed Instance allows existing SQL Server customers to lift and shift their on-premises applications to the cloud with minimal application and database changes. At the same time, SQL Managed Instance preserves all past capabilities that drastically reduce management overhead and TCO. The, di the diagram shows outlines key features of SQL Managed Instance. Azure SQL Managed Instance is designed for customers looking to migrate a large number of applications from an on-premises or IaaS, self-built or ISV-provided environment to a fully managed PaaS cloud environment with as low a migration effort as possible. Using the fully automated Azure Data Migration Service, customers can lift and ship their existing SQL Server instance to SQL Managed Instance, which offers compatibility with SQL Server and complete isolation of customer instances with native VNet support. What are the key features and capabilities? SQL Managed Instance combines the best features that are available both in Azure SQL Database and the SQL Server Database Engine. The key features and capabilities are past benefits, past benefits, security and compliance, business continuity, and management. Let's talk about past benefits. No hardware purchasing and management required no management overhead for managing underlying infrastructure, quick provisioning and service scaling, automated patching and version upgrade, integration with other PaaS data services. Let's talk about security and compliance. Transparent data encryption, Azure Active Directory, single sign-on on support, Azure Active Directory server principles, SQL auditing, advanced threat protection, isolated environment. Let's talk about business continuity. 99.9% uptime SLA, it is built in high availability and the data protected with automated backups, customer configurable backup retention period and user initiated backups. And the last feature management. Azure Resource Manager API for automating service, provisioning, and scaling. Azure Portal functionality for manual service provisioning and scaling data migration service. What are the service tiers available in Azure SQL Managed Instance? SQL Managed Instance is available in two service tiers, general purpose and business critical. Let's talk about general purpose. General purpose is designed for applications with typical performance and input latency requirements. 
It is designed for the majority of business applications with typical performance requirements. And it is I performance Azure Blob Storage. And it is built in high availability based on reliable Azure Blob Storage and Azure Service Pavel. Let's talk about business critical. It is designed for applications with low latency requirements and minimal impact of underlying maintenance operations on the workload. And also it has key characteristics of the business critical service tier has some key characteristics. It is designed for business applications with high performance and HA requirements. It comes with super fast local SSD storage. It is built in high availability based on always on availability groups and Azure service fabric. It is built in additional read only database replica that can be used for reporting and other read only workloads. In memory OLTP that can be used for workload with high performance requirement. Let's talk about management operations and advanced security and compliance. Azure SQL Managed Instance provides management operations that you can use to automatically deploy new managed instances, update instance properties, and delete instances when no longer needed. And SQL Managed Instance comes with advanced security features provided by the Azure platform and the SQL Server database engine. Let's talk about security features in Azure SQL Managed Instance. Azure SQL Managed Instance provides a set of advanced security features that can be used to protect of your data. SQL Managed Instance auditing, advanced threat protection, dynamic data masking, row level security, transparent data encryption. Let's talk about backup and restore. The migration, the migration approach leverages SQL backups to Azure Blob Storage. Backups stored in an Azure Storage Blob can be directly restored into a managed instance using T-SQL restore command. What are the key differences between SQL Server on-premises and SQL Managed Instance. SQL Managed Instance benefits from being always up to date in the cloud, which means that some features in SQL Server may be obsolete, be retired, or have alternatives. There are specific cases when tools need to recognize that a particular feature works in a slightly different way or that the service is running in an environment you do not fully control. Let's talk about some key differences. SQL Managed Instance supports SQL Server integration services and can host an SSI catalog that stores SSI packages, but they are executed on a managed Azure SSI integration runtime in Azure Data Factory. It is high availability, is built in and pre-configured using technologies similar to always on availability groups. There are only automated backups and point in time restore. Customers can initiate copy only backups that do not interfere with the automatic backup chain. SQL managed instance supports Azure Active Directory authentication as a cloud alternative to Windows authentication. I will log into Azure portal and I will show you how to deploy Azure SQL Managed Instance using Azure portal. I'm in the Azure portal. I will go to search, just type SQL Managed. Under the services, we see SQL Managed Instances. Click on SQL Managed Instances. Click on Add. Now we need to add a resource group. I will just say SQL 
resource group. So I'll just say SQL one resource group. And managed instance name. I'll say SQL server managed test zero one. And it is available and region. Let's choose recommended East US and compute plus storage. So I will configure this managed instance. So here we can choose either general purpose or business critical. We just discussed that two service tiers available in Azure SQL managed instance, general purpose and business critical. For this demo, I will just choose general purpose and we course i will just keep it for and storage in gp i will keep it 32 if you have a sql server license you can check this i don't have it so and let's go to next one backup storage redundancy geo redundant zone redundant local redundant i will choose local redundant so now let's apply now we need to create a credentials. I'll just choose Azure user. And we need to select the password that we can use to log into the SQL managed instance. And let's go to next one, networking. and public endpoint enable so allow access from so azure services so azure services can access this resource and next additional settings and keep it default use as failure or secondary no and let's go to tags and everything looks good let's go to review and here we can see that estimated cost per month and the subscription resource group region and compute plus storage what we choose gen general purpose and 32 gb storage for week course locally redundant backup storage and let's deploy this resource so now deployment in progress so this is how you can deploy azure sql managed instance using azure portal i will go to resource group is not ready yet so we deployed azure sql managed instance in sql one resource group so it takes a few minutes now we have this resource group available and network security group route table virtual network created and also we will see this deployment will complete in few minutes so, so far in this module, we covered what is Azure SQL Managed Instance, what are the key features and capabilities, and what are the service tiers available in Azure SQL Managed Instance. And we discussed about management operations and advanced security and compliance. And we also discussed the key differences between SQL Server on-premises and SQL Managed Instance. And we cover like you know how to deploy Azure SQL managed instance using Azure portal. If you have any questions on Azure SQL managed instance, Azure SQL managed instance, please post them in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.